Okay, so I know I'm a little bit late, but <laughs> hear me out, because they trolled me once again, like Oculus does that. The game released in the morning, like at 2 a.m., the time I'm waking up to work, basically. Second, it didn't release on 11, it was 10 for the American time, because they based the releasing games on the US side, so they released it on 10, not 11. What the fuck? <laughs> But that way I can just, you know, not rush the overview and just kind of casually play, see what's up. So we have Medal Honor, finally. I mean, this is pretty much the most uh, expected, like, game of the year, pretty much. I wonder if it's gonna, like, you know, live up to the series overall, because Medal of Honor inherently is a legendary current series. Besides Call of Duty, besides, you know, Battlefield, this this triangle of shooters. Fixed fees first. What the fuck is this price? <laughs> like this is <laughs> this is the most like priced game I own now. I think Asgaraf was what thirty euro. What if I remember correctly? This is fifty free. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. I understand it's triple A, but god damn respawn. Let's just start. I just wanna kind of just see what's up. I'm really kind of excited because. I might have a weird kind of link to this game because of my background. Uh, basically, I am Polish from origins. I live in France now, so I speak French normally. And like kind of my surname is from German origins. So I'm like checking every <laughs> box from the history side of this game. Okay, wait, that's the first thing. Okay, can... Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. To Medal of Honor, above and beyond. Is that not the quote from Star Wars? Something, something beyond. <laughs> okay, cinematic subtitles, of course. Combat subtitles, of course. Gallery, of course. Subtitle size. Uh, seated no more. No, that's. Pretty much it. Why it's t 2D, like the settings? Wait, what? What? Uh, uh, okay. Stay alive until start and Ollie save you. Pull trigger to... Wait, that's a little bit weird start. Whoa, Jesus oh, Christ. You came back for us. You saved our lives. Lieutenant, you took a direct hit. How do you feel? That Not good. <laughs> I don't think the lieutenant can talk. Oh. Copy that. Lieutenant, what you just did was both the bravest and dumbest thing I have ever seen. Ooh. I kept count. You took out 11 of Rommel's best men. <laughs> oh, shit. No. <laughs> Make that 12. Lieutenant, please try not to move. <laughs> That's funny. You betcha. Well, then, can I... Wait. What? Uh, I thought I'm gonna, like, you know, move and stuff. I... I... It was, like, a cutscene. Interactive one, and then I... Okay. Continue, I guess. Wait, why we have, like, 2D... Uh, like, intermissions? Hello? Good morning, Lieutenant. I'm Colonel Ebbets. Welcome back to the land of the living. You've been through a lot, so I'll keep it brief. I'm with the Office of Strategic Services. Our mission is sabotage, subversion, and everything in between. We're taking the fight to the Nazis, mm. going after the Third Reich on their home turf. We do some of the most dangerous work of the war, and we're looking for people just like you. Now, the sergeant and I go way back. He's an excellent judge of character. And for what you did in Tunisia, he's nominated you for the Medal of Honor. Oh. Trust me, Lieutenant. I hate doing paperwork. But in your case, I made an exception. You saved our lives. I have a motto. Life is usually a pageant of 
idiots and fools. <laughs> but occasionally, you find yourself in the company of good people. And then, anything is possible. Okay. Lieutenant, you are now going to hear the most important question I can ask. Ooh. Would you like to join the OSS? Whatever is OSS, but he has French flag, so of course. Excellent. What about you, gentlemen? That's simple. We go where the lieutenant goes. Yes, sir. I have every confidence you're going to make me look like a genius for recruiting you. Mm. Welcome to the OSS. Yes. What does this stand for? <laughs> oh. W pistol? Wait. I, f I, I hope he's not gonna kill me. <laughs> Hello, Lieutenant. I'm Dr. Thatch. Welcome to the infirmary. Ah, we'll have you back on your feet in no time. Why is there a pistol? Ah, I know you're having <laughs> some trouble speaking after what happened in Tunisia, so let's just use hand gestures, eh? Okay. We, we can set your game options in the interactive menu. Oh, okay. Interactive Absolutely. exam, then. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. And don't worry, you can change your answers at any time. Okay. Now, my first question is an easy one, Lieutenant. Are you left or right-handed? Please, make your choice. <laughs> Nine questions. Okay, oh, Jesus. Pick up the service weapon next to you. Yes. Splendid. Now, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to continue, or a thumbs down if you want to change your selection. Nah, gucci. Ah, well done, Lieutenant. You're going into an active combat zone. Oh. Whenever you're in close proximity to an explosion, you might feel a concussive blast. The technicians call it camera shake. Oh, okay. You can also feel this camera shake phenomenon when firing your weapon. Mm -hmm. But through the wonders of modern medicine, I can easily <laughs> adjust how much camera shake you feel. Please, let me know your preference. <laughs> this is interactive settings. I mean, uh, camera shake, yeah, oh. We're going for full sure. immersion, I think, right? Why don't you test fire your weapon? Okay. So... Ah, like that. It's like a slight shake when you now, fire. Let's discuss how you want to view an enemy's threat level. What do you mean? Now, see the oh. two imaginary enemies in front of you? Very imaginary. Note how their threat level is indicated above their heads. The more stars they have, the bigger the threat. You mean... An enemy with one star should be easy <laughs> for you to dispatch. Five stars, though? Oh, watch out, Lieutenant. Seeing an enemy's threat level from a distance gives you the chance to adjust your tactics accordingly. Interesting. It can be quite helpful. Okay. Now, some of the technicians in the back say this affects immersion. Hogwash! Whatever floats your boat, I oh, say. Oh, okay, yeah. Lieutenant, please choose if you'd like to I see mean, the enemy uh, threat level. Not really. Yeah, because we're going for f full immersion. Please give me a thumbs up if no, you're I don't. With your selection, I, I think I care for this. Like I'm just gonna shoot because One I'm gonna minute. shoot. That's pretty On much it. Next, we can also provide a supplemental hit marker whenever you damage an enemy. It's a subtle flash around your peripheral vision, combined with a special sound whipped up by our audio engineers. Uh -huh. Please choose whether or not you'd like these extra hit markers. Yes, but how do they look now, like? To verify your choice, try eliminating the enemies in front of you. Please remember, they're just imaginary. <laughs> I'm a gentleman, not a savage. So... What was the indicator? Now, if you like your uh -huh. choice, please give me a thumbs up. Like, there's Otherwise, a very, very fast flash. But, no. No Turn off. Your line of work can be quite dangerous. There's always a chance you could be injured in the field. <laughs> Please choose how you would like to experience what we call in the medical field taking damage. What do you mean? Damage overlay? Default? I'm now going to simulate a slight injury. No, don't touch me. Hurt at all. Ow, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're still recovering from your experiences in Tunisia. Some of your upcoming missions may have intense Oh my god. I'm <laughs> getting scared by floating hand. <laughs> uncomfortable. Would you like the option to skip these sequences? 
Don't worry, you can revisit those parts of the mission whenever you'd like. What do you mean? Skip intense gameplay? No. Here's an opportunity for you to choose the overall difficulty mm. of your OSS experience. Damn. Please, let me know your preference. I would go for hard if it would be like something RPG, stuff like that. Like Asgard and stuff. I'm gonna choose normal, just because I'm not an, an expert in the shooters. Ah, an excellent but I'm not you bad, so... Now for some mobility tests. First, I'm going to help you get on your feet. Please. Something. Oh. You can quickly change the direction Ooh. you're facing with what we call a flick turn. What? Lieutenant, choose which kind of flick turn you prefer. You mean snap turn? Wait. Try turning and see how it feels. Where is smooth turning? I mean, I'm gonna choose this one because this one Brilliant. was like proper snap it's turn for me but that's weird for not having recovery. an option some of our agents prefer to have what we call a tunneling effect when they move let me know your preference mm you mean vignette uh, uh nope try walking across the room towards me yay finally moving jesus christ you're tall the hell wonderful lieutenant congratulations I am certifying you for active duty. Welcome to the OSS. That was cute. I loved the interactional options. It's very something new. Like I've never seen it. Usually it's like in the flat menu screen, switch your settings, but here it was like, you know. back on your feet. The colonel thought we should give you a quick combat refresher. Your current objective is always shown on your sleeve. Take a look. Oh, okay. Cover your hand over objects. Press the grip button to grab them. You can use either hand. Give your other hand a try. Now it's time <laughs> to move, Lieutenant. I see you're right-handed, just like me. Good. I like. Yeah, potato. The arrow always points in the direction you need to go. Use the left stick. Ah. To turn. The right stick to turn. Uh, I'm gonna be bitter that there's no smooth turning, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. Okay, push to run. Nice. Remember, you can always adjust your comfort and controller settings. Uh, wait, options. Because uh, I've heard this game runs very like hard core on the hardware side, but it doesn't seem like we have option to choose. I so far I love it like I because the details and stuff because of the clarity I love like kind of the quality that I'm getting I actually feel that I'm in Medal of Honor game which is crazy All right lieutenant it's time to shoot stuff Hi McKinney is here grab the pistol from its holster What the fuck Give me this <laughs> okay. Uh, holster. Where? Here? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, okay. I see f from here. Okay. Love this. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oof. The reloading seems so smooth. What the? Oh my god! Yes! Okay, 
Oh! Handy then! <laughs> okay. Good job! Next station. Oh, hello! <laughs> My dog. What, what about those eyes? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So I'm just just clicking and I'm instantly getting the ammo. Yeah, I love the simplicity of the re reloading. It seems so smooth. Like, I'm not actually thinking that I'm re reloading, really. I'm just shooting and just like kinda, you know, clicking. I love this. Hmm. Like a sniper rifle, but in a World War setting. I love this. I know you just got out of the infirmary, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Mm. If you really get hurt, you'll need to use some first aid. Pretend to hurt yourself by smashing your hand on these rusty nails. <laughs> no. Um ah! first aid syringe. Now comes the fun part. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! No. Okay. Uh, ah, store a syringe. Sorry, I'm just stabbing. So oh, so basically we have how much free? So on the left hand we have kind of additional holster, like in half of Alex, and then we will have like objectives on the right. Okay. No. Really? There's no way I can activate with teeth. Really? No. <laughs> Wait, how? Oh my god. Okay, mm chest holder. Just one? Yeah, it seems like there's just only one slot. That's fine, actually. I don't mind it. Like, I love that you can activate it with teeth or like with your hand. That's so genius. <laughs> love it. Okay. Hey! Come here! <laughs> oh shit. Gotcha! <laughs> okay, I... Uh, this is so good, actually. You're screaming like a girl, stop it. Okay, I wanna play now. This is amazing. <laughs> but those loading screens are not amazing. I don't know what, <laughs> why. Wait, so what happens if we go to main menu? Is it just flat screen as well? Oh, wait, we're somewhere. Like a spying facility. Okay, missions, main menu, gallery options, continue campaign. So we can just see... Yeah, we're basically we're just like in our headquarters. <laughs> no. I don't really like those kind of loading screens, That's but that's pretty much it. The rest seems so amazing. 
Oh wait, so wait, so we have prologue, then we have missions, well there's a lot, oh my god, it's weird that everything is kind of like, like you can see what's gonna happen. So far, I'm loving it. I have as well saw something like on Reddit and stuff like that, people were complaining that it's like the worst game ever, but I don't know why I love it, like, it feels correct, and that's what I... I was kind of like missing from modern day shooters because like the gameplay and stuff like that was not smooth enough to kind of like enjoy it but this one I enjoy completely for like for now we'll see how's the gonna be the campaign and multiplayer multiplayer is gonna be like someday but now let's focus on the story